Alright, so in this category, there are three types of death wish resets that you're gonna do throughout the run. That you're gonna have to try to learn. And the first type of uh, death wish reset is like the humped one. You're never gonna do it for humped since you require humped in order to get snatchers at list. But for any cat, any level like it, where you do an action to cause a cutscene to spawn, and then the timepiece is gonna appear. If you can stand in the cutscene or in the timepiece as the cutscene happens, you can do a death wish reset in order to grab the timepiece and get out as quickly as possible. And on the sparkly sound, that sparkly sound, that's what I use to know when to death wish reset. When that has happened, you can death wish reset because uh, the thing you need to keep in mind when doing the death wish reset for these cancel time pieces is that uh, the timepiece counter needs to tick up in order for you to get the timepiece. If it doesn't, then you have to redo the level. Sometimes you don't have to do redo the entire level, but sometimes you do. So you want to try and make sure to avoid that and time your death wish reset correctly. So this is the kind of level where you have a checkpoint that isn't the uh, the, uh, the beginning if you death wish reset, thankfully. So I can show up a second type of death, uh, death wish reset here. And that is what we call a boop reset. So basically what you should know is that when you death wish reset, Hatkit can't move around. But there is one way to make Hat Kid move, and that is by booping. The thing is that uh, you can't move in any direction you want. When you boop, Hat Kid goes straight down, and that's the only movement that's gonna happen. So you have to be above the timepiece, Death Wish reset, and then boop in order to fall into the timepiece. So that's uh, type uh, number two. And type number three of Death Wish resets is something for uh, pink uh, purple rifts. It's not really its own kind, I guess. It's kind of like the cutscene one, except it isn't a cutscene. Instead, what it is is uh, you have uh, rift balls at the end that contains the timepiece. So the moment you destroy them, you have like half a second before the timepiece spawns. And within that half a second, you can stand where it's gonna spawn. Like here. So by landing inside the flash here, you land inside where the timepiece is gonna spawn. And so you can reset like while it's still uh, opening and get the timepiece as soon as possible. And that's all the kinds of death wish resets you need to learn. Try and make sure you get comfortable with them. You can save so much time from them. It's the reason why it's actually worth doing Beat the Heat, which doesn't even give you a timepiece. Just because it gives you snatch your set list. And it saves so much time over all the timepieces. So try and learn to be able to do it on as many timepieces as possible. And with that, good luck in your runs.